Charlie, let's start week nine with some keys. Start with the Niners. What do you think? Number one, attack the offensive tackles, Miller and Parker, to put pressure on Derek Carr. All right, here on the left side, the rookie Miller gets beat by quickness to the outside. I think he can also beat him with strength and a bull rush. Now, the other tackle, Parker, again, watch him. Heavy-footed guy, not quick-footed, can be beaten by speed and quickness to pressure Carr. Carr, to me, struggled early in the year with pressure, but Sunday he played his best game of the year against the Colts. Here's an example of when you pressure him, but you got to close the holes. He slides up, eyes downfield, throws the ball once again, touchdown. Best game of the year Sunday. Now, you got to look at Jared Cook, their tight end. Jared Cook, their tight end. He is their only receiver to me that you have to count for. Does a good job of settling down in the zone there. This is the guy you got to stop. Number two on our keys. To me, you want to attack the holes in this defense. You can run outside at their defensive ends and linebackers. The Colts had a great deal of success. Sunday there, the rookie key gets blocked as a defensive end. Run outside. Now, throwing the ball, you can throw it any other corners, in my opinion. Worley's at the bottom of the screen. The former Carolina corner lacks speed. He lacked it in Carolina. He didn't get faster when he went to Oakland. You can run by this guy. Now, you go to the nickel cornerback in the slot, the veteran Leon Hall. He never was a great speed guy, so you can beat him on speed, but he's also lost a step on quickness. Here, San Diego beats him off the line easily for a completion. Now, the one guy who can run, the former first-round pick, Connolly, he's at the bottom of the screen, but to me, he lacks concentration here. He's really inexperienced. He's been injured, gets run by here, lacks concentration. I'd throw at those corners all day long when I'm not running sweeps. Well, you know what? Regardless of the veterans you circled who may or may not be fast anymore, John Gruden could bench half of them by the time we get to Thursday because <laughs> he is one to play the kids these days. Let's talk about if the he Raiders If he keys, doesn't trade them before today. <laughs> which could happen as well. But from Gruden's perspective, Charlie, what are his keys for this one on Thursday? Well, number one, I would pressure the young quarterback, C.J. Beathard. He is number two in the league in takeaways and giveaways against him. Now, you pressure him from the inside. This guy's got some ability, Beathard, but he doesn't have a chance many times because he's being pressured. Now, they do have some weapons. Wide receiver, Marquise Goodwin. This guy is a world-class sprinter. The first 20 yards on fast, the second 20, he's deceptive and blows by you. So play deep and start running when he starts running. Now, tight end, George Kittle. I like this guy. He's going to be covered by a linebacker here. Deceptive move, gets off him. He can beat the linebackers with his quickness, and he does have very good hands. Now, number two, throw on this secondary. They're not very good, I think, and here's what happens. They don't have a pass rush to get after you, to protect them. They're playing zone. It's a two-deep zone. Fitzgerald beats the safety. That safety's got to do a better job of closing in the two-deep zone. They're still trying to learn this zone defense. Top of the screen, Witherspoon gets targeted often. Here, poor job on technique, lets him off on the inside without a jam, and then he can't catch up. He's got no closing speed. The lack of closing speed bothers me. Now, the veteran Richard Sherman, top of the screen. He got targeted many times on Sunday and was beaten. Here, watch him in zone. Does not come back very quickly and doesn't react quickly. He's a long strider who has trouble changing direction and has lost a step, in my opinion. Target, Sherman. All right, going right at Richard Sherman, Charlie Casserly says, with his keys to the game for Thursday, week nine, the Raiders and the Niners in Santa Clara. Thank you, Charlie.